Hey everyone, uh, Liam here from the ACF Dev Team. Uh, I just wanted to give you a, a quick overview of bidirectional relationships. Um, it's a new field setting that we added in 6.2 Beta 1 that was released yesterday. Uh, it's quite a complicated uh, topic to explain, so we tried to give some examples, um, but I figured it would probably be better to just build uh, a real, real life example and show it off. So here is the incredible ACF merch store. Uh, Definitely doesn't exist, so you can't buy any of these. Sorry about that. Uh, we've got lots of products, uh, and we want to make related products. Uh, so let's say T-shirts are related to jackets, or t stickers are related to pin bags. Uh, so in ACF 6.2, if you've got the beer installed, you log into your uh, log into your dashboard, and we're going to create a field group that is assigned to WooCommerce products. Uh, we'll set it to a relationship field type and call it related products. We can limit its uh, limit its kind of uh, selectable values to only ever be to, uh, to only be ever products, um, and we can turn those off because uh, we don't need to be able to filter by post type or taxonomy. And um, we're going to display this on products. So we'll create this new field group, just the one uh, just the one field on it. And if we go over to advanced, we see the new bi-directional tab. So if we click that, uh, there's a bunch of uh, kind of information here. Uh, but the thing that's mostly important for us in this case is the target field. Uh, we've only got the one field group and the one field, so that's the only thing we can select. And if we save that and go over to a product, uh, let's uh, take the pin badges and we'll link those to the two stickers. You'll see we now get this new products tab here um, and I can search for sticker, select the two stickers. And now because it's bi-directional, when I hit update here, these two values, it's going to go off to those uh, those products and the product ID, so the WordPress post ID, and add a connection back to this product ID, which uh, you can maybe see at the top here is 145. So if I hit update, and then load one of the stickers in a, another tab here, you'll see that it is now automatically related to the pin badge. Um, and I could remove it from here, and then it would remove it from the uh, from the pin badge. Uh, this has the advantage that when we go to the actual sticker, we have this related products section here. Uh, swap to the code view here. I threw this together really quickly, so this definitely isn't the most efficient way of doing this, but it kind of gives you a, a quick overview anyway. Um, all we do is we replace the uh, the default WooCommerce related products variable with get field related products. Um, which is set both sides of the relationship. Uh, we just loop over it because WooCommerce expects them to be Woo uh, WooCommerce product instances. So we just map the, map the array to that and pass it into WooCommerce the same way. Not much interesting in the code. Uh, it's just a child theme of storefront as a demo. But it means that related product shows up and it is connected to the others. So if I go back into the uh, product sticker, Let's say we want to connect it to Albin the ACF bear. I'm definitely not trying to get us a new mascot here. Uh, if I then go to the pro sticker, we see the bear. And if I go to the bear, we see the pro sticker. And so it's just a nice way of, of connecting uh, post types, users, or taxonomies. And it gets it gets a bit more confusing if you go down into those kind of different types of things. But when everything's just a post ID, it's all relatively simple, um, and you can just uh, click and uh, connect them together and show the same same the same relationships across uh, multiple product types. I hope that's a, a good example. We'll do more of these videos with some other real world examples. But uh, yeah, that should be good.